Say hello. Hey, hello, hello, everybody. Hello. We're back here with Lewis. So, look, we're going to ask him some questions and he's going to answer them. So, this is part two. Go to his second, his first part. Okay? Here we go. Lewis, what did you do last week? Well, last week, uh, well, the last two weeks, my kids, we've been on uh, the basketball tournaments. You know, one one tournament won first place, second tournament won second place. And then uh, we had a little march for our, our lives, the, the, uh, the movement. So we've been moving pretty good. We got a couple of sponsors, guys are grant writers now. Still looking for more grant writers, but we did come up with one. So I'm still trying to make a difference in the community, so I need all the help I can get. Also, you all, he's looking for gifts, contributions, time. What kind of time are we looking for? Volunteer time. Right, volunteer. I need some tutoring and I need some more uh, basketball coaches. And I need a dance instructor, too, as like hip-hop dance. I got a couple girls that want to start their dance group around here. So if anybody that's in the area that know how to you know, head up a dance group, I got a couple girls that want to do something like that. So where are you located? In Foley, East Lower, at Suite 4, Foley, and Alabama. Can we get your phone number? 850-549-5770. Okay. We also looking for endorsements and donations. Yes, I need a couple of uniforms that we've been trying to get. You know, it's hard raising your money with no grant. So all I do, man, is uh, I have cookouts, I have car washes, and I have four basketball teams. So it's kind of hard between that, man, with no grant money and nothing like that. So we, we out here every day. I got like 60 kids. If you go on my page, you can see what I've been doing. My Community Mentor is the page. Or you can go up on the Lewis Polk and you'll see the rest of the, the pictures. And all we've been doing is having fundraisers, like for us, cookouts, car wash. And we've been sending the kids all on these trips, these basketball trips and everything. So like I said, we did four trips this month. And like I said, I got two championships so far, so I think that's pretty good. And these tournament, each tournament for my team to get in is two hundred dollars a team. So you're looking at what two, four, six, eight, eight hundred dollars. So we 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 doing it, man. We we out here working every day, raising money, and taking donations. And also, um, what did you say about football when you said the football uh, uniforms and insurance yeah. is more? Yeah, and for the football part. You know, we're trying to get baseball and football. We got basketball covered, but with the football, it costs more. The insurance is real high. So we have to really like be on the ground. I got a lot of kids that play football. You know, we in the South, so a lot of kids want to play football for them. But like I told them, I like, we got to get some grant money up in order to get the equipment cost. Right now, it's kind of like hard. Like I said, we have no grants. So everything we do, we have to raise and get out there and, and get it. My kids don't mind working either. So that's the only difference with the football and the baseball. It costs a little more for the football because of the equipment that we need for both of them sports. The bats, the helmets, the gloves. And my program is for the, the kids that are not fortunate to have a lot of money. So a lot of my stuff is free for the kids. We take a little money, like $20, $30, that's for the kids to eat with. We ask the parents for that. But pretty much we get out and hustle and grind for our money, like we say, with these little fundraisers. And that's how we earn our money because a lot of kids can't afford three or four hundred dollars sign up and that's what this AAU league and this uh, traveling football they, they charge them four hundred dollars three hundred dollars four hundred dollars and if you got two kids in your house that's a car note or your light bill you know and I got a lot of talent here there's a lot of talent here like we said we never played together and we played against a team that been two or three years and we won like I said we won championship and everything and won the tournament first place and second place. And them guys have been playing together longer than we have. And we still came in and won something. So I know I got a lot of talent here in Baldwin County and uh, Alabama. Because uh, we all over, man. All over Baldwin County. And the talent, like I said, the talent is very, very, I mean, it got a lot of, got a, let's put it like this, there's a lot of talent, talent here. It just, they don't have the money to participate in these sports. So I had to make it free for them to get in. 
So the little, like I said, the little, the little donation that, that we do get, we try to make it work, man. You see, I'm here every day cutting hair. So I help out much as I can. And yeah. also, he's a great barber. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, he got one of these young men sitting in his chair that's uh, going to be he's in the program. program, too. So... He looks yeah. young, but he's he old enough. He's 21. He just look like a little baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He looked really young. I thought he was like a teenager. <laughs> but you all, hey, I forgot to show y'all this. Y'all know my motto. Subscribe. Plus, Lewis Page will be going up tonight. So, his link will be below. So, you all will be able to click on it. Okay? Have any questions, get in contact with him. He's a beautiful person. And guess what? He has a little girl. How old is your little girl? Eight months. Eight months. And how are you? I'll be 46 this year. 50. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. But she's my little girl. You know, like I told you, I did a long time in prison, man. I came home almost six years ago. We ran at six years. And I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to be all I can be, man. And the only way I can do that is live my life through the kids, so that's what I'm doing. This is my second chance around, and I'm trying to make the best of it, and that's why I give back to my community. Because there's a lot of people out here that don't know what's really going on in these streets, man. And these little kids, man, they can tell me every day. They respect me, and they respect me because I learn how to relate to them. I don't follow their lead or nothing like that. I teach them by showing them how to be a person that would, with deep respect for each other. Because a kid don't really know itself until you, you bring the potential out of him. And that's what I try to do. I bring everything out in the little kid, man, for he can know who he are. And once he know who he are, he are, or whatever way you want to say it, he, he, he become the best kid ever. And that's why I know how to bring out in him. I don't hold no kids up to no standards, but his own standards. And that's an understanding of himself. So that's the way I look at life, man. Once that kid know himself, it can't nobody break him down. Nobody. Not mom, dad, nobody. Because once you self-righteousness with a person, hey, he can become the president of the United States if he wants to. So that's how I feel about my kids. I fight for them just like they fight for me. Every day, we out there struggling and try to raise some money to go somewhere. Because ain't nobody doing nothing with the kids no more, man. Everybody about a dollar, man. And I've seen that since I've been home. Six years I've been home. And all I've seen with every program is all about the money. Not my program. My, my program, I can honestly say truly, is about the kids. So anything else you want to ask me? Uh, also, the notification. Y'all, can you see? And subscribe. Please subscribe to Lewis' channel. But um, also, I wanted to tell you all, he will be doing a biography. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do that in about four parts, Lewis. Yeah. We'll probably be breaking that up in four parts so then he can tell you the beginning and the end. So you all stay tuned for that. And um, I'm going to try to do one weekly so you all can get to know Lewis, okay? Yeah. And on that note, we want to say, oh, yeah. My community mentor. Yeah. That's what y'all need to look at. Go to my webpage, My Community Mentor Inc. And you can make sure you follow my kids. I got everything that you need on that paper. If you don't understand something, my number is 850-549-5770. Hey, I'll be glad to turn your call. I might not know everything, but I know a little something. You don't have so, one of those papers here today, do you? No, I don't have any paper. Oh, okay. Today, yeah. we've been, all right. It's been Easter and all the weekend. We've been just hanging out trying to make sure we raise the money. Now, this is a great barber. Look, look, look what he's doing to his head. Great. <laughs> so not only you get a good mentor, but you also got a barber. And oh, Lewis yeah. is the one. So y'all know what I say. I can, I will, I must. I can, I will, I must. Lewis fits that description. See y'all later. Bye. Say bye, Lewis. I see y'all. <laughs> <laughs>